Uh, oh, I got half of a show. It makes me mad. Hey, welcome to I'm Right, You're Wrong. I think I only missed about 15 minutes. Forgot to hit record. It bums me out. But that's okay. What was I saying? Oh, boy. Pelosi. This is what the Pelosi deal is all about. The Pelosi deal is all about... It's like, okay, so they're saying... Fucking Joe Biden was on there railing against it yesterday, just railing, saying, saying, this is the, the MAGA, the rhetoric, the election deniers, the demonization of the Democratic Party is inciting this violence. You know, and he's all angry old man, mad, you know, it's inciting violence. They're demonizing, demonizing these people. Well, you know what? You're allowed to demonize. Since when can't you demonize these people in Washington? You ever hear the old joke? When do you, how do you know a politician is lying? Then the answer is their lips are moving. It's not necessarily funny. It's a little bit funny because it's true. Maybe the first time you heard it, you might know. Why, how do you know when a politician is li- lying? Their lips are moving. I've, that's been around for 100 years. Because politicians, by very nature, are egotistical, lying, uh, corrupt you know, people. And now you're not allowed to demonize him. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to say, "Man, look at that Pete, that fucking Nancy Pelosi." I think she's made a hundred and fifty-four million dollars trading stocks. Well, her husband, her eighty-year-old husband, made a hundred eighty-four million dollars. I'm sure there weren't any tips by Nancy. Or insider information, because I'm sure Congress doesn't know exactly what's going on with all, with all their lobbyists and everything. I'm sure they don't have insider tips. So you're not allowed to call... She's basically a huge crook. She's stolen $150 million while you're paying her. While you, on your, you're, you're paying her to steal money that way and to steal money the conventional way of, you know, of, of pork, pork barrel politics and lobbyists. I mean, she, I'm sure they make it rain on She's had 17 boob jobs on your dime. And you can't and you can't say anything about that fucking bitch. I imagine I don't know if it's very far away where if I I go like Mitch McConnell Mitch McConnell, that old fucking cocksucker. That old fucking fucking turkey gobbled up Mitch McConnell cocksucker. And they come and they and they say, Hey man, uh you, you yeah, you gotta come down and talk to, to the police. You can't be calling old Mitch Mitch McConnell a cocksucker. Because that means uh, you're you're you don't you're a threat to democracy. So if I and I say, hey, you know that Chuck Schumer, he's a fucking piece of shit. He's about a, he's about as low life a piece of shit as, as you can find. That fucking Chuck Schumer. I gotta go. What? I'm gonna knock on my door? Can't say that anymore. Is that gonna happen? You can't say. You, you know these people are these people are horrible people. I've been saying it for years now. Can you not say it? Oh, you're instigating violence. And you you notice it's like you know this whole Pelosi thing. I'm still waiting. You know, you know they. Ha- I could show you all kind of stuff on the internet about you know how pictures of their their um, house with the video cameras and you know p- people saying that you know the cops you know have come there have said yeah they they encountered private security and everything. There's no way. This is just you know the, if this happened. If this happened to Donald Trump, I'd be going, what, what are you fucking talking about? How, how, is, how is somebody getting into Donald Trump's house? You know, he's a, he's, he's a billionaire. He's a politician. He's got, he's, got, he's got security. He's got, you know, I'm sure he's got fantastic security. These people, these people know that, you know, that crazy people are out there and they, they could easily target a billionaire or a politician. You know they had security. This doesn't, it doesn't add up, but that's only if you're on the right now. Instead of like when normal people would ask a question like, what's going on with the guy? That is, originally, I heard they were both in their underwear and they were fighting over a hammer. When they, and, well, Actually, they were there, and then when the cops got there, he grabbed the hammer and, and beat the shit out of the guy. And originally, the guy you know, said he knew him, and it's like, you know, just you know, let's just see the video camera. And the glasses on the outside. Yeah, you know, maybe all that's explainable away. Just looking for the truth. Let's get some video evidence. But that's not, that's not, but they don't care. That They just, I mean, would you really, <clears throat> I mean, if, you know, if this is like a, it's a little, like a little mini false flag 
trying to get the you know get their base worked up before uh, midterms, which are a week away. I could see that. You know, I could see both parties doing that. Uh, it's just a little false flag deal. Why was it done so incompetently? I mean, you know, why 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 was it done? To where the glass was broken on the outside and he said he was his friend and then the cop said that when they got there it was just a welfare check and then the guy you know was in his was in his underwear and had a hammer and he took it from he took it from Pelosi and beat him. it was like what it doesn't even make sense but then when you hear Joe Biden the very next day railing against uh, Republicans because the, it's our fault that 80 year old uh, financial criminal Paul Pelosi was attacked in his house by a weirdo with a hammer. That's our fault, for because because uh, we because we because we stirred up people because we went hey that that guy, eighty four that senile guy got more votes than any president. Are you sure? We just said are, are you sh- three words? You sure about that? I mean, I mean, and who's in the control of the election? The federal government's in control of the election, and, this, and then the federal government's telling me it's one hundred percent legit. But the federal government generally lies about everything. Hmm. But you can't say that. And you've got a whole legion of people who refuse to even think like that. And you know what? You're stupid. I'm right. You're wrong. So fuck off. If you believe, if you can look at the, this, in countries, uh, this country's lies and incompetence for decades, and you think that we are capable of pulling off the safest and fairest election that's ever been held, I think you're, I think you're silly. I think you're a silly person. I think you're juvenile. I think you are, are narcissistic and you just want to hear what you want to hear and you want to believe what you want to believe and, you're, and you want to be right. I'm right and you're wrong. And I've been right for 10 years and I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm not, one, I'm not this new social media, everybody's right. <laughs> I've been right way before you, you sons of bitches. I've been right way before you sons of bitches. Oh, I think I got, is this the chat? I haven't, I've had a hard time with my chat. <laughs> We're all set up. Set up. Meet and greet coming up. Meet and greet coming up. November 12th. All the details, I believe, will be on the uh, Cluster F uh, fan page. I mean, the cl- or the Cluster F. We'll figure it out. We're posting details soon. <laughs> we'll get with you. Meet and greet November 5th. So, yeah. So, you can't demonize politicians. You can't really call them out for, for what, you know, what they do. <laughs> it's, it's preposterous. I've never been, you know, I've, I, I, that's why I'm doing this show three, three days a week. Uh, there's so much material I've never I don't even understand there's so much going on what's going to happen in Brazil it was like a oh it was a hair a neck and neck race and the guy on the right didn't win and uh, usually the United States really they love the right wing dictators usually oh fucking I mean those are that's what we want we put in right wing dictators we've done it for years and but they didn't like this one Hmm, that just makes me suspicious (laughs) <laughs> they didn't like this one, so they they're supporting the guy on the left. So is something going to happen down there with their election? Are they going to oh, this is the media or is the media bought and paid for by the current people who are in power? And I'll say it before I want I want this on the record. I want this on the record. So <laughs> there probably never will be another real election in America. It will all be full of accusations of fraud and interference by other countries and you name it you name it right wing extremists the supreme court passing new laws to give states the right to overturn elections all i mean so and the and the news will go right along with whatever narrative they're told it's that that's quite obvious have you seen a Have you seen a big parade of news uh, apologizing for all the misinformation and 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 the lockdowns and shit like that? Back at back in the day in two thousand and twenty nineteen and twenty, if you were like um, saying these that lockdowns sh- shouldn't happen and that children shouldn't be forced to be masked, you were banned. You were an outcast and you were banned. 
And if you were a parent, you were investigated possibly by the Department of Justice because you didn't want your kid to wear a mask. And any information that said masks weren't 100% effective were scrubbed from the media. So, if you're the Democrats currently in power and seem to be in control of not only the typical MSNBC, CNN deal, but uh, CBS, ABC, and NBC seem to be right on board with completely going with the narrative. Whatever the government says is what the news goes, goes with it. That didn't used to happen. That used to be the, the, the news's job to question the government. Now they go right along with it. And if you don't, you're a big fucking liar. I think this is a dark days. Dark days. But then you but then you, if you know if you don't pay attention to it, you just go out in life and you live your life. It kind of almost seems like it's not there. But <laughs> I think it'll creep up on you. So best to pay attention. <laughs> I think it's best to pay attention and get ready. Get ready, man. Just get ready for hard times. Could, you know, if the, uh, this is just common sense advice. Uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you to vote for. I'm not going to tell you to vote at all. I am going to tell you might want to. You know, best investment might be. Um, you know, hundred pounds of meat in the freezer. Get a freezer, put some meat in it, maybe some canned, some canned stuff. Because you're investing in physical. Th- if you if you're buying food and and inflation keeps up at eight, you know, <laughs> inflation keeps up at eight percent. You will, every time you eat that food, it's a profit. That's a legitimate profit. What are you going to do? Buy stocks? Stocks, stocks been going up and up. Usually that's, you know, usually there's great profit taking before, you know, before calamity. So I'm just enjoying life. So that's what I think is going on with the stock market right now is, uh, you know, is they're trying to they're trying to fucking suck every last dime out of it. If you if you look at a chart a, a chart of a Mary, of savings, I'll, I'll draw it for you. I'll draw it for you. Go to graph here. All right. Yeah, that's the savings. That's the savings. And here's the. Uh, I can't. I, I don't know how the first part of the graph goes. It's just you say you know. All right. Let's see if you can see this. <laughs> ah, no, it doesn't work too good. Here, I got put a double thing behind it. All right, be like a weatherman, not looking at it. <laughs> see the cra- See the see the see the graph that ends down here. Where is that? Right, <laughs> right here. That's um savings. Americans savings rate and it goes there you know and that's not sometimes it was way high way high and then now woo woo the American savings rate not so hot here's um here's credit card debt credit card debt you know it's always up and down up and down whoa 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 where is it whoa credit card debt savings <laughs> I'm not good at that at all credit card debt savings all time high all time low. Yeah. So I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm telling you to enjoy life and, you know, enjoy life. Hug your kids. Enjoy your freedoms right now. You Maybe this. Maybe I'm totally full of shit. Nothing will happen. Stock market's doing great. Economy's gangbusters. Maybe all these millions of people over the border. They're fine. They'll do the low-wage jobs. America's going to be a great place. Maybe, that, maybe that'll happen. I can't see it convincingly in, in a nation that's $31 trillion in debt and is hemorrhaging money and giving... Uh, tens upon tens upon tens upon billions of dollars to Ukraine and poking nuclear powers in the chest. I think, uh, I think our, our nation is incompetent. I think the new green deal is a pure money grab. What, what isn't, what isn't, can you imagine the money grab that happened during COVID? Do you know how many people got fucking rich during COVID? You know how how many politicians got paid off by Pfizer? You know how much money Pfizer made? You know how much money the politicians made off of Pfizer as a big circle jerk? 
They made a shit ton. And they're going to make a shit ton on the green on the green deal. And then it's going to turn out that they weren't able to do the green deal right because they stole all the money. And that's that's politics 101. If you and if you think oh, I wish I, you know, I wish there was more um Antifa and snowflakes and millennials and you know soccer moms watching so I could say if you believe all that bullshit, you can just fuck off. You need to get real. You need to get real. Politicians don't like you. The people that you're out there, you know, rallying for and cheering on. I always, I always blew my mind how people would go to rallies and cheer on politicians. <laughs> These, you know, when's the last time you can name a politician who was like, oh, my God, he dedicated his life. He, he didn't. He, he never he donated his paycheck. It was totally public service and he never made any money and he never took any money from lobbyists. And all he did was good, 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 good. He fucking never, ever, ever. Never. Mr. Smith goes to Washington. That fake movie, yeah, he tried to do good. Because he was fake. <laughs> so get it through your skulls. If you think, if you think, if you think, it's both ways. If you think you're a, if you're a Democrat and you think those, the, you know, Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Chuck Schumer care about you, you're, you're stupid. See, it's not very popular to say that. No, nobody else is going to tell you that. You're stupid. If you're a Republican and you think that, that Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham and Rick Scott care about you, you're stupid as fuck. They don't care about you. They're narcissistic, egomaniacal, power-hungry, corrupt people. They don't give a fuck about you. They would send your, your sons and daughters into a wood chipper, you know, if they could get two points on election day. They don't give a fuck about you. And you're juvenile if they think you do. I'm sorry. Too much chastising. Too much. I get, get worked up. That's why I'm doing this show um, <laughs> three days a week. I can't stop talking about it. I went out to dinner with my mom for her birthday dinner. And um, with them, uh, me, Donna, and my sister and my mom. And I didn't plan. You know, we usually we just talk about everything. I yeah, haven't seen my sister in a while. But all we did was talk about the ways of the world and the and the what all the bullshit going on so i wonder if most people are like that uh daniel swanson says ron paul's the only politician i ever wanted to see elected the guy was effed and ignored playing his day yeah i mean they'll they you know they have ron guys like ron paul and rand paul they have those guys in there because you need one guy Two guys, three guys, it doesn't matter. Very small group of people going, hey, there's a bunch of bullshit. There's a bunch of bullshit going on. I'm, gonna, I'm trying common sense, but these guys are all full of shit. And you're like, yeah, yeah, Ron Paul. All those guys are full of shit. You tell them. And that's what you get. Nothing changes. Those guys still go on screwing you. And Ron Paul's still there going, these guys are screwing you. But at least you can listen to Ron Paul and go, he gets it. He knows. There's a guy that works there, and he knows they're all scumbags. But that's all you get. That's all you get. You get your Ron Paul. You get your I'm right, you're wrong, so fuck off. <laughs> Who's that? Jim, John Fincher says, I wanted Ross Perot to win. I voted. That's about the last time I voted. I voted for Ross Perot. Before that, I'd previously voted Republican. But uh, I was like, oh, they say, oh, I get it. What every year was that? I think I was in like my late twenties, my late twenties, voted for Ross Perot because I saw what a fuck job it was, and I was I saw you know by that time I'd seen both parties you know doing all their shenanigans and went oh I get it it's all a scam I'm not voting anymore and then Ross Perot ran and went well I'm gonna vote for Perot because he see I like Ross Perot it'd be a giant sucking sound can I talk can I talk he made sense. It was a businessman. Made sense. Hmm. Hmm. And they fucking, they squashed the, they, they, there was, oh, they squashed the fuck out of him. They did everything they can, could to besmirch him and ruin his reputation and get him out of the fucking race. They say he got 15% or something like that. And I know that I would uh, talk to people that I knew. And back then, you know, 
I mean, kind of, you know, I kind of hang out with like-minded people now. You know, the older you get, the more you hang out with like-minded people. But, you know, they, my coworkers and my friends, my coworkers, the people on my softball team uh, would be like, hey, man, who'd you vote for? And they'd be like, yeah, I voted for Perot. I knew a shit ton of people that voted for, for Perot. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I, think that was, I don't think that was a legit deal. I think Ross got fucked. Because they don't want a third party. The third party is the worst thing they could have. Third, third party. You ever notice it's like, well, you know, the third party, both parties agreed, the Republicans and the Democrats, the third party candidate will not be allowed at the debate. Like, they're like, hey, hey, me, me and the Democrats over here, we got a good gig and we got a lock on. It's locked down. This sweet gig is locked down. We're, we're stealing money like it's going out of style. We're balling. We're having cocaine parties. We're going crazy up here on your dime. And we ain't letting you in. What's that? Would you say you want to change things? Fuck you. That's how the world works. And you know it's how it works. Oh, my God. Vom- I'm rev- I just vomit so, you know, me, I, the, the people thinking that, that these politicians give a shit about them. That people actually go in a booth and hit Rick Scott. Yes. Nancy Pelosi. Ooh, yes. They care about me. They love, they, 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 they're going to do some good for me. You're, 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 you're infantile. <laughs> infantile, I tell you. What's up, AJ? Lots of people, I, uh, John Fincher says lots of people said they didn't vote for Pro because they didn't think he could win. I think that was the last time a third party candidate had a chance. You know, John, that's what they, that's the thing, the main point when they're talking about third party candidates, they're like, they can't win. They can't win. They can't win. And why do you, why do you hear that from everybody? Both parties, the news, what do you always hear about the third party candidate? They can't win. They can't win. You're wasting your vote. They can't win. So what happens? You don't waste your vote and you, and they don't win. <laughs> that they don't, they don't even want you thinking about voting for a third party candidate. Because then, you know, and even if you did and the third party candidate won, they'd have to go through the trouble, trouble of totally sabotaging him out of existence, which is a small chance that that's what happened to Donald Trump. Or he's just right in on the whole shyster deal with him because he's a corrupt billionaire like uh, every other president. Uh, I'm... I'm a thinking person, and I have no proof of, of almost anything, so I keep a lot of windows open. I don't have proof that Donald Trump, you know, uh, was uh, in cahoots with the, with the Democratic Party. I don't have proof to be, to demonize, to divide, to make himself a pariah so that he could divide the country in half like, a, like with a meat cleaver. And cause there's never can you do you remember do you remember um oh, I don't remember the years exactly was it the late eighties do you remember people or early nineties I don't know when Clinton was in or do you remember him going that fucking Clinton fucking he needs to be put in prison he needs to be put in prison uh you know he, he basically I mean he should be he should be barred from social media barred from ever holding office again that no because they didn't. There's never been a politician that anybody has ever had the vitriol and the venom that they have for Donald Trump. And I don't give a fuck about Donald Trump. I really don't. I used to think he was funny. I've watched him on interviews and stuff, and I've chuckled. Uh, I don't give a fuck about Donald Trump. But the, the people who hate him so much are so obviously influenced by media and nobody, no, still nobody answers my question. I'll answer, ask it a thousand times. I'll get a thousand non-answers. George W. Bush and other presidents have killed tens upon thousands of American soldiers in illegal and immoral wars that have come out to light that it's 100% proven, just like the Iraq War was completely illegal and immoral and waged for, uh, uh, to make money for big business and, and the military and, uh, industrial comp- complex. And George W. Bush killed over 100,000 Iraqis. And 10,000 American soldiers were maimed and, and killed in Iraq. So he's a mass murderer, a mass fucking murderer. And you hate Trump more. 
that there is no real there's no there's no place where that's reality that there, there's no it's not real no one no one hates a, ma- a mass murderer less than a guy who said mean tweets and you know and called it the chinese virus when it might have been when it was when it is Ban, you'd be banned from social media. Banned from social media if you said that. It, I mean, I said, I said it from day one. I was like, yeah, problem. You know, sure seems like it came from from the Wuhan lab, where they where they do research on coronaviruses. And I was called an idiot and all this shit. And then, you know, but then John Stewart can come come on TV and talk about how it obviously came from there and not a pangolin and make all kind of jokes. And everybody's like, oh, he's right. It was a lab leak. We all knew it all the time. We just weren't saying. It's infuriating. It's infuriating. Peep on social media, people who, th- people who think they know what they're talking about when they are completely misinformed, are constantly telling you how stupid you are. And that's Americans' political discourse now. A bunch of people who just watch mainstream stuff, baby bird mainstream stuff. Uh, tell me Rachel Maddow. Uh, John Hannity. And then you regurgitate it to me and act like I'm stupid because I don't believe it. Well, I'm right and you're wrong, so fuck off. Sorry, so probably, you know, probably not the right way to, to get more people to tell them to fuck off. But it's very, uh, it's very satisfying, very cathartic for me. Oh, we got me try to get some of these comments. <laughs> Stacy Dean Bear says, I don't believe that I, th- that Trump generally cares about our country. It did anything good for this country and the left and right. I don't, I, I can't, I don't believe that I think. I don't believe that. I think, okay, I got it. I think Trump genuinely cares about our country and did nothing but good for this country. And the left and right couldn't handle it. I mean, I, you can't deny that we weren't in a war for four years. We weren't in a war. I mean, he's the first person that, you know, and if, you know, say, say Trump had won a re-election, he would, I don't think he would have done the Ukraine deal. And I don't think uh, we'd be at war with Afghanistan. And so we wouldn't be at war. But we are, you know, we're in a proxy war now. Just shoveling money. We got troops training. You know, I'm sorry you don't keep up on the news, but we have a, a lot of troops training by the Ukrainian border, which is really dangerous. <laughs> you know, we're doing a lot of a lot of dangerous shit with nuclear powers involved. You shouldn't be. You, you know, God, just fucking. You can't. You can't say anything about it. You're a Russian asset. I don't think it means you're a Russian asset when you're like, man, give him, why don't you give him Don Basque and Crimea and stop all this madness. Stop all this, I think it's 70 billion plus we've given in weapons and aid, 70 billion. You know what we could do in America for $70 billion? That's so much money. That could actually make a difference. 70 fucking billion. That's a lot of money. It could make a lot of di- a difference in a lot of lives in America. We're flushing it down the toilet and you can just send it over there and the Lord knows where it goes. I've seen reports. I've seen reports on the internet of these things going into black market and going to different countries. It's a black hole. Nobody knows where the weapons are going. No shit. Corrupt Eastern European countries. We, uh, <laughs> we all know that. Everybody knows that. These Eastern European countries have been around for a lot longer than we have and they're more corrupt than we are. And we're pretty fucking corrupt. <laughs> really fucking corrupt. Elon Musk is going to be our savior. I don't know. The jury's out on Musk. Never trust a billionaire. He could have ulterior motives. But hey, we'll see. I'm very interested to see in the Twitter deal. Everybody's going crazy, blah, 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 you know. And all the, all the left are like, we're quitting Twitter, but none of them are. Rob Reiner, I'm quitting Twitter. Oh, and then, and then he tweets, oh, we should never quit Twitter. We got to fight, fight. So, you know, it's the same old shit. I imagine, <laughs> can you imagine, Stacy, Stacy, how many bots that the government has that they can go on to Twitter 
they don't even have to be bots. They just be, you know, they got NSA, they got, you know, 20,000 NSA workers. They can go on Twitter and say, you know, things to make it look like Twitter is becoming a haven for right wing extremists. How easy would that be? It would be real easy. And why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? You get, you know, you got control of the government. You got control of the NSA. Why wouldn't you say, well, let's just bombard Twitter with right-wing propaganda. And then we'll sit back and laugh at how Elon Musk is now viewed as a Nazi. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see the government. I, I see the government doing that. I see the government. I see the election coming up. The government, the Democrats, if they win, you know, they could win. Uh, Let's get real, people. You don't think that both parties have been trying to steal elections since the dawn of time? And maybe in 2020, the Democrats stole it better than the Republicans. Republicans had their plan to steal it, and they're like, oh, my God, I didn't see this coming. The Democrats stole it right out from under us. And maybe the next election, the Democrats have a plan to steal it, and the Republicans have a plan to steal it. Or maybe it's all fake because they work together because they got the best gig ever. And why would you, why wouldn't you just, it's wrestling. The good and the bad guy, they hate each other and they oppose each other diametrically. Every single point in wrestling, the baby and the heel, they loathe each other and they will do anything to stop each other. And then they go in the the back and they have a beer together because they're making a lot of money. I don't know why people can't grasp that concept. It's not even... It, it's life. It's not even a difficult concept. In wrestling, they got a bad guy and a good guy, and that's why you get so much money. Some people like the bad guy, and they root for the bad guy. Some people like the good guy, and it's a real thing. And then the guys go have a beer because it's fake, and they're making they're making money. They don't really hate each other. Fucking preposterous, preposterous. Let's look at the time. Look at the time. Oh. See, let me see. I may, I may be done for the day. May save it for tomorrow. I still have, I still got some stuff. I promise. <laughs> oh, one more thing. This is. I'll play. I'll play this tomorrow too. This is how you handle this shit. This is how you do it. It's like all these people that apologize and everything for shit. Don't apologize. I know, you know, I'm not a big, you know, I'm not like a big fan guy. I don't like autographs. I don't, you know, I don't really care. But like if there's something I really like, and especially if like there's somebody who does something politically that I like, shows a little balls, like Alex Stein's got balls. I like Alex Stein. I like Kyrie Irving here. He's he's showing some balls. And that's what people need to do. That's what people need to do, but they don't. They need to show some balls. Because you will actually, the, it, you'll get more support than when you do your fucking pathetic apology. I'm so sick of these people apologizing. Let's go with Kyrie. Kyrie, while we're on the topic of promotion, why did you decide to promote something that Alex Jones said? That was a few weeks ago. I do not stand with Alex Jones' position, narrative court case that he had with Sandy Hook or any of the kids that felt like they had to relive trauma or parents that had to relive trauma or to be dismissive to all the lives that were lost during that uh, tragic event. My, my post was a post from Alex Jones that he did in the early 90s or late 90s about secret societies in America of occults and it's true. So I wasn't identifying with anything of being a campaigning, a campaignist for Alex Jones or anything. Just so he's bending over backwards to, you know, to state how he, you know, he's just, you know, agrees with Alex Jones on a certain point and doesn't back him in everything he does. There to post, and it's funny, and it's actually hilarious because out of all the things I posted that day, that was the one post that everyone chose to, chose to see. It just goes back to the way our world is and works. I'm not here to complain about it. I just exist. And to follow up on the promotion of... He's so, so he's so over being asked this shit, you can tell. The movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? Do you see me doing, do you see By me in front of the, it out there, the people title? People are going to say that you are yeah, promoting it. Yeah, I put it out there just like you put things out there, right? 
Yeah, but I, okay. I, it's not You put stuff. things out there for a living, right? Right, but my Great. stuff is Great. not so let's move on. filled let's with anti-Semitic Let's stuff. move on. Don't dehumanize me up here. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing I'm that. You're free to post I can what, post whatever I want, so say what, that and shut it down and move on to the next question. We can post whatever I want. Oh, God, where's more people saying that shit? Kyrie, you have to understand that by I don't have post- to understand anything. That's right. Fuck, fuck off, buddy. That's what he's basically telling you. Fuck off. Who are you to question me about anything? Fuck you. Thing from you. But, but, it's Nothing. not me. Nothing. By no people that you're making you up, bro. Move on. But by posting Move what on. You Next did, question. Next question. Do you guys have any more questions for me? They're going to say, you guys have any more questions? Because this is going to be a clip. Beliefs. This is going to be a clip that he's going to marvel at. Is this any more questions? But you're not answering the question. Oh, this, this is another answering your question. Oh, my God. Let's make another Instagram clip so we could be famous again. Next question. Kyrie, basketball related. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's about time somebody you know that's that I love I love it see like for me Can I read while we're on? I think I think you know I'm, I mean I think he you know I don't think he uh, I think he had a problem with the the jab I think he had a problem with the jab which and he spoke out about it which I'm fine with as well so uh, I I appreciate people who who stand up for their rights and don't apologize to the mob Jesus God it's so refreshing where am I where am I right here. All right. What's up, Andy Bain, Melanie Dutcher, Jamie Lambert? Appreciate you guys checking me out. I'll be back. Oh, I think we're going to try to do it on the other Cluster F, on the other Facebook page. (laughs) I can't remember what it is. Oh, my goodness. What what is my other Facebook page? (laughs) Great promotion, huh? Oh, it's not going to tell me here. Mother effer. I think it's... I'll search Facebook. Cluster F Show. That's a fan page. Cluster F Show Podcast. Cluster F Show Podcast. That's it. That's where I'll be tomorrow. I better start start hyping it. Hyping it. Since people know where the fuck I am. Thanks for tuning in. I'm right, you're wrong, so fuck off. We'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget Cluster F Show on twitch.tv forward slash clusterfshow.com. Twitch.tv forward slash clusterfshow.com every morning at 8 o'clock. Take care, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm right, you're wrong. So fuck off.